Hey guys, today on Aided World, we're going back into another Wind Waker video, and welcome back to another Hero of Time and Warrior Wednesday on the channel, and guys, in our last video, we got, we actually saved Iroh from the Forsaken Fortress, and today we are going to be checking out our next mission. So we're going to see if we can possibly get some sort of special powerful thing that will allow us to pick up large rocks and big things. So anyway, let's head over to our place and let's equip our bow here. And let's hop over here. So where we need to go is actually located on our map here. We need to go right there to a little seashell shaped island over here to our left. So we'll actually just use this thing right here. And guys, if you don't know how, and guys, if you don't know certain melodies on this, on the Wind Waker, um, you can always press plus like you're trying to open the pause menu to equip a new weapon or check the map. You just press that button while using the Wind Waker and then it'll show you absolutely every every melody that you've learned so far. So let me demonstrate for you. So check it out. So it actually shows you what melodies you got. So anyway, let's go find out where we need to go so it seems like we need to go straight to the left here north nice okay so now let's just sail straight there's sharks and stuff around here all right so guys this seems to be the island right here all right so guys let's head up this place here Huh, so who is this person right here? Ho ho, so that is how it works. Who is this? I don't really know, but it doesn't matter. But let's head down this hole right here. Alright, so there we go. So we found ourselves a fairy fountain. So here we are. There we go, our great fairy. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Alright, so let's see. So now let's obtain a new power. Alright, so let's see. You can now carry more rupees. You can. Hold up to 5,000 rupees. Okay, exactly what I wanted, guys. Because that will help us so much on our journeys. So, it could have been something else. Because it seems like um we can get other things that have limited amount. But, that, but for right now, we actually never need to go get a, another rupee upgrade ever. I don't even think there is more rupee upgrades, but anyway, let's go find our boat. Wait, did it sail off on us? Good, okay, it didn't. Alright, so let's go here. So before we go farther anywhere, we'll go obtain a piece of the map here. So we'll go do this. Alright, so let's go. And let's see, is there any fish around here? There probably is. Alright, so here it is. Around here. Yup, here it is. So I'll just turn off my sail, turn around here, and there we go. So we got our fish on target. Nice. Okay, so now we've unlocked a new map piece. Alright, so let's obtain our map data. And nice. Okay, there we go. So we got Northern Fairy Island. Alright, so now that we've gotten that. The little shop master on Windfall Island apparently 
got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He calls it magic armor or something like that. It's a pretty cool magic relic from what I've heard. If you want him to give it to you, try staring, staring deep in the eyes and winning him over a flatter, flattery front. And that's all the info I got to offer, but I'm not sure what that means. But the thing is that ancient relic magic armor, that sounds pretty good. So anyway, let's go here. So we've gotten two fairy fountains. So now let's use this command here. The Battle of the Gales and we'll warp to this location. Yeah, okay. Nice, okay. So now that we've gotten that, we will now be warped into a place. Here. Boom, okay, nice. Ooh, okay. What's happening? Looks like something is happening. Ooh. Okay, so. Whoa, okay, what happened? Whoa, okay, so. What is this? Tell me, little boy, can you control the wind? So young to have so much power, how did he know to find me here? I'm the queen of the fairy world. Does, what does the, the matter, my child? Does that not surprise you, young one? I like you, and so I shall give you new power to the boat that you now wield. Alright, so here we go. So what is this? Whoa, well, what's happening? See like two fairies with different glows. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, and Alright, what did that do? The powers of fire and ice had been added to your arrows. Will you take out your boat, use ZR to change arrowheads, and then fire away. That's cool. Alright, ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames, and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. That's cool. The fairies in this mountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. That's interesting. Child, I must tell you, you're just my type. That's interesting. But anyway, I guess we'll just warp out of here for now. But I wonder if there's another fish that we can obtain here. So there's probably a fish somewhere outside this island, so let's get it real quick. Because if we could get the fish, then we could obtain more power. Not power, but you know, more maps so that we can find out more cool things. Because each fish gives us really good stuff. So now let's go this way. Alright, so now we're heading straight to that island right there. So it basically looks like that in the distance. It just looks like a big tree stump. But anyway, let's sail there. We'll we'll use our we'll use our bait. And now we've gotten a ton of rupee storage here and we could probably go and use this here so it seems like we cannot go around here and find where okay that was easy so the fish is like right there all right so that was pretty easy 
So anyway, now we've gotten the fish. Alright, so now we can upgrade our map. Alright, so now we've gotten that. They say inside that ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of this island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy, but the thing is nobody's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that peri rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the info I got to offer. Alright, so that's cool, but now, let's see, like, even the sectors that don't have anything on them seem to have seem to have the ability to um still get a fish which is cool so basically it seems like we can just get stuff for stuff from everywhere so there we go there's our fish and even though this is basically just ocean right here um we could still get map data from absolutely nowhere in the sea, even though if it's just water. Alright, so I'll just obtain this map real quick and then we'll head on to our place to get the power. So, so we got a new map. Alright, so beware of the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I could tell you, small fry. Alright, so that was it. But anyway, that doesn't really matter because um the more map the more places we travel to, the more map we can get. So anyway, let's just warp over to another place here. Alright, so we actually need to go here. Alright, so now that we've gotten that, we can now obtain so, a little bit of information here. Alright, so now we just have to head around the back of this island over here. And then we will be at our destination. So we actually need to equip our bow before this so um we'll do that and we'll sail all the way out here so this is the back of that tower and then you just sail straight out to something that looks like that seashell okay so that's so that's cool so let's so there's also a fish here so let's do this and get the fish here because this might actually be a place that we can actually get more another fairy so the more places we go and the more bait we use on these fish we can actually use to help us travel around the great sea here by getting more map information Eastern Fairy Island. Okay, that's great. Alright, word is they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Every night, people gather in the Hall of Wealth to amuse themselves by spending a little money. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning the auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they got some great things up on that auction block, too, like an extra fast sale, among other things. You should try it out, Small Fry. You might just like it. Okay, so that's all the info. So we've actually gotten that super fast sale. So let's get our so let's get our fairy, and then we'll head on to our place. So the more fairies you get, it seems like the better. So now that we've obtained a new place, we can actually just go inside and see what we need to do here. So 
we'll just head directly inside here and there we go new fairy alright so now we'll probably get a new upgrade or something alright so now that we've gotten this so now we'll probably get some sort of new upgrade okay what is this going to upgrade you cannot carry more bombs now you can bring a maximum of 60 with you wherever you go alright alright so that's cool so it seems like we can upgrade bombs that means we can probably upgrade arrows anyhow let's head to our location of getting th of getting this special power to be able to lift the heaviest of things real quick so let's go over here equip our bow and now that we can actually hold more bombs we could actually carry 60 instead of just instead of just the regular 30 so the island we need to go to is right there it's right there on the right next to dragon roost and that island will actually and that place will actually be the place that we have to go so there it is it's actually some sort of volcano so before we head in let's get this last fish and we will obtain the map from it all right nice so now we've gotten that and now we can, and now that we've gotten more map the more map we get the easier it is to travel so it's this fire mountain so let's see you see that volcano you see that their volcano is spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow yeah well they see there's great treasure hidden inside that thing the thing is everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come out shooting it off the top if you want to get inside you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here that's where the power to freeze Every, anything is hidden or so they say maybe it's not true but it's but it wouldn't hurt to look fry and that's all the info I've got to offer okay so let's do it okay so once so four squares one two three four and then one north that's it so he was actually right so let's switch our arrow oh so that's cool so we can actually use the ice arrow now. Actually, let's get a bit closer to the to this thing. So let's get a tiny bit closer. Okay, so we're as close as we could possibly get now. So it seems like we need to just aim our ice all the way up there. Whoa, okay, so that was what was supposed to happen. But let's aim all the way up there. Nice. Frozen. Okay, now we've gotten that. And now we need to run because we got a clock. We only got five minutes to get inside here. So let's do it quickly. And we probably need our Dooku leaf. Alright, so now we need to climb up quickly. And get to the top of this place. Alright, nice. So we're nearly there. So here's the place where we need to wind waker ourselves over. Alright, so. 
Alright, so now we've gotten that. And so we need to use our Wind Waker's power in order to cross. So it's already set to the right way, but let's set it to north just to be safe. Alright, nice. So now we've gotten that. Let's unequip our Dooku Leaf and equip it with our hammer just in case. Alright, so let's go up and drop down in here. Whoa, okay, so we're definitely in some sort of dangerous place. So we need to guard ourselves from these things here. Alright, so now we need to go across. And get those things. Whoa. Okay, so we actually need to be very careful here with these things because they could just knock us off like nothing. And let's cross this pit of lava. Alright, nice. So we've gotten that. Now we've gotten that. We've gotten a chest. So we've done it in in uh, just under two and a half minutes. So um, now we've gotten power bracelets. Both arms are now stronger than ever. Press A to grab and lift objects. All right, nice. Let's see. Pick up. Okay, okay, so. If that was. Okay, so definitely. Now we could definitely pick up stuff that we could not before. Alright, so now that we've gotten that. We can now go over to our boat. So anyway, let's equip our bombs again here. And guys, that will be it for this video because now we have obtained a special power that allows us to lift stuff that's very heavy. So so it'll actually make it easier for us. So anyway, Guys, that will be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll never miss out on another video on Aiden's World. All right, guys. Thanks for thanks for coming back to another Warrior Wednesday and another Hero Time episode. So, guys, see you next time on Aiden's World.